we need to talk. Today I saw this pop up on my timeline. And my immediate response was something like this. <coughs> Irish viewers, you're going to have to bear with me for a second. I've got some groundwork to lay for the others. Here in Ireland, there is an amendment to our constitution that says this. The state acknowledges the right to life of the unborn, and with due regard to the equal right to life of the mother, guarantees in its laws to respect and as far as practicable by its laws to defend and vindicate that right. This is the Eighth Amendment, and what it does is outlaw abortion. Not just surgical abortions, but also the medical abortion pill. The only exceptions to this are when the life of the person carrying the baby are under threat by the pregnancy, or if the life of the person carrying the baby is under threat due to risk of suicide due to the pregnancy. There is no exception in cases of rape and incest. We are having a referendum to repeal this amendment to the Constitution in May. I will be voting yes, because this situation is inexcusable. Okay, we're all on the same page now. Back to this. This bullshit is not okay. This is something you will almost never hear me say, because I am very pro-immigration and very pro-refugee, but these two people they're not immigrating. They're not seeking refuge. These are two people going on holiday so that they can interfere in the constitutional processes of another country that they have no stake in. So my message to these two is fuck off home and mind your fucking business. These two aren't even the only example of this. Look at this nonsense. Now, the Second Amendment of the Irish Constitution does nothing but change the phrasing of the Irish language version of the Constitution to more closely match the phrasing of the English language part of the Constitution. I don't see a whole lot of call to repeal that. The Fifth Amendment to the Irish Constitution removes the mention of the special relationship between the Irish state and the Catholic Church, and if anything, I would feel that the anti-choice people would want that one repealed themselves. Unless, of course, the definitely legitimately Irish people running the pro-choice Lonford Twitter account have somehow mixed up the Second and Fifth Amendments of the US Constitution with those of the Irish Constitution. But how on earth would that happen? <laughs> and then there's the letter to our Taoiseach, I will never call the leader of our nation a prime minister and anyone who does is a coward, from 17 American anti-choice organizations urging him to campaign against abortion. And then, and then of course, there's all of the US funding that has gone into the Iona Institute, a staunchly anti-abortion, religious, semi-religious organization that not only is campaigning for a no vote in the Eighth Amendment referendum, but also campaigned for a no, no vote in the marriage equality referendum. Groups from the UK have been doing this too, but not to the same extent as groups from America, and frankly, when has the UK ever been able to stay out of Irish political affairs? Nation once again. <sighs> Within minutes of me finishing writing the script for this video, an article was published detailing that Facebook has reported several American organisations to the Irish Electoral Commission for buying ad time, anti-choice adverts directed at Irish voters 
during the Eighth Amendment referendum. Facebook, that bastion of moral scruples, made the report. I understand that this policy of interference in foreign affairs is something that most Americans will be horrified and embarrassed to learn about. And look, you're grand. I understand, I know, it's fine. It's fine. But I sometimes worry that these guys, if this was not a predominantly white nation, I feel like these people would be urging for invasion sometimes. And I am waiting for some gaul, and in this instance I'm using that in both its modern and archaic forms, like Lauren Southern, to come over here and start vlogging about how the white race is being replaced in Ireland by immigrants from Africa or Asia or South America. And if that happens, I swear I am going to throw them in the sea. Directly into the sea. So please, 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 when you see somebody saying something like this or posting something like this, please tell them to stop. I know they probably won't listen, but the more voices there are, especially, especially in your own home country, maybe the more th people will think about it and question what they're doing. Thank you. Oh, and hey, did you notice? Did you notice that I had no gendered language when I was referring to people who can become pregnant? It's that easy. It's that easy.